doing some work on the table saw today. Um, we, well, I have purchased a cast iron wing to get rid of the sheet metal wings, which are here. That's one of them. I'm only replacing the one onto the right side of the blade. Um, I don't see the point of putting the left side. These were 160 Canadian. I got them from a local supplier here in Windsor. And these are manufactured from King. So King Canada, which produces a lot of woodworking equipment, table saws, band saws, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> These are extension wings from one of their discontinued table saws. So in essence, this wing that I have now that I received last week is a discontinued item, but just so happened I got lucky and got extra stock that they're trying to get rid of. So this option as far as King Canada might not be an option for you. <coughs> Excuse me. Jeez. But it became an option for me, so I took it because the other part of this is once this wings in, then I can start designing a, um, I want to put a router lift into the empty space. So this is the wing. It came pretty gooped up, which most places are gooped. Um, and it needed a little bit of adjust, not adjusting, but um, flattening. So I had to take my flattening stone and just flat, they had a few burrs here and there. So I'm going to take you through the process of fitting this on to my rigid. So I have a rigid R4512. It's a hybrid saw. It came with the sheet metal stuff. Um, why sheet metal? Just Give me some cast iron. I know it's cost thing, but whatever. Um, yeah, <clears throat> there are a few modifications you need to do to attach it to this saw. And most of that modification is opening up of holes. So on the rigid, you have three holes, mounting holes, to mount it to the actual cast iron top. They pretty close line up on this extension wing. Um, you just have to elongate the holes a little bit. And I'll show you underneath what that looks like. I have it already marked out. Um, there are two holes on either side of the end to connect the, the rails, the, um, um, the fence rails to the wing. Uh, two of them you have to, same thing, elongate and the two back there you actually have to drill a can or a, a clearance hole through it because the bolts go right through and then there's nuts on the ends that's how they attach so that's pretty easy uh it's not a hard thing to do uh, so a few things you should have in this shop um, first thing is a long clamp so at least a 48 inch clamp so you can clamp it on and make your life so much easier because now this is where I want it to be and I can mark all my adjustments, all my holes, stuff like that. Um, so you're going to need that. You're going to need something to <coughs> open the holes with. Excuse me. I have a Dremel. I used to have air driven tools and my compressor just doesn't keep up. So electric it is. If you have a bigger one, by all means, if you have air tools, that's the way to do it. Um, this wing fits exactly into the space. So it's the same size as my cast iron top this way. And it's the same size as the sheet metal wing this way. It's perfect. Um, that's pretty much all you really need. Uh, oh, and a flat, flat, so a flat bar or flat, uh, something to make sure that your table is going to be flat, very flat. So yeah, so I'm gonna take you off this. Okay, we are underneath now. So you can see that one hole eh, just off a little bit. So I have it marked out with a paint marker where I need to open it up. Where's this one? Oh, this one's right here. There's the other one. 
not as much. This one's the bigger one. This one you need a little bit more. It's because there's the hole. Can you see the hole? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's that. Uh, there are <clears throat> a bunch of holes here for how to connect stuff. Um, so I am taking this hole and this hole to connect my fence to, which I need to elongate down. And that's no big deal. And then the next thing on the back here, uh, on the back of this wing, it has one hole in the center. That's it. So I just took a Sharpie, went into the holes and marked out where I want them to be. I'll drill them out, clearance holes. If you do this with the Dremel, um, I suggest that you grab something like this. So when I was in a mold trade, I have a bunch of these little burrs and they will help me open up the holes of the cast iron. It's cast iron is usually pretty soft. It doesn't have a really hard rock weld, so it should go pretty quick. Uh, if you don't have a burr, maybe a small sanding drum, I wouldn't suggest it because it'd probably go through a lot. Uh, maybe white wheels, white wheels, gray wheels. This is a wheel, this is a gray wheel, this is more of a softer wheel. Uh, there's different grades of wheels, so colors distinguish grits and how hard they are. You could do that, but I would suggest the burr first. If you can get your hold, get a hand on a hole, get your hand on, get your hand on a burr, that'd probably be your best bet. So I'm gonna take this off, I'm gonna start opening it up, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like after. So about half an hour of fitting, grinding, whatever you want to call it. This is what the holes to the saw look like. A little more elongated. That's probably the worst one right there. And let's see. This one did have just a single hole right here. I drilled some new ones. And I used this one and this one made them a little bit bigger to accept the studs that are T-tracked onto that side. So it fits. All I gotta do is reinstall it, level it out, reinstall my fence, good to go. Now I'll have a solid unit. It's not hard to do, like I said, um, a burr or a wheel or something like that will do you a lot. Um, the rest of it is pretty self-explanatory. How you took the old wing off, you put the new wing on, you level it out with a nice straight edge. That's it. Nothing to it. This is a quick little thing. I've been wanting to do this for a while because I really want a rudder lift so I can start compacting in the shop a little bit more. Um, I have too much stuff that I don't use all the time and I'd rather have the rudder in the table saw so it's one less thing that's hanging around so you like this video give me a, a thumbs up give me a like subscribe hit the bell um, there's quite a bit of stuff that I've been filming in the last couple weeks so it's gonna come out a little more frequently and hopefully everything else so I uh, hope everyone's good and I'll see you next time